Good afternoon. Welcome back to day one of the mining show. I'm Peter Clausy with Investor Intel. It is my great privilege to speak with the current president of PDAC, Felix Lee. Thank you for coming, sir. It's great to, have, great to be here. This is your first PDAC as president. That's correct. To your term. To your term. How is it different being president from just an attendee? Oh, well, it's just a tad busier. <laughs> <laughs> now, PDAC has been around 100 plus years. Uh, 88 years. 88 years. Uh, how many people are coming this year? Uh, well, we don't really know. We won't know until the final day of the convention. Right. Uh, but fingers crossed, fingers crossed, uh, hopefully we'll get uh, somewhere close to what we had last year, which was you know, anywhere from 25, just a little between uh, 25 and 26,000 people. That's a good turnout. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I remember coming to PDAC when gold was at $300 an ounce. Different vibe then. Different vibes, yeah. What vibe are you getting this year? Uh, it's actually a really good question. Um, you know, right now we've seen gold prices kind of soar to uh, all-time highs. And then, of course, uh, you know, last few days we've seen kind of gold, gold plummet. So we've right. seen a lot of volatility in, in, uh, uh, in gold and, uh, and, and precious metals in general. But, and, know, and still, I think at all-time highs in terms of the Australian dollar. And Canadian dollar. And Canadian, yeah, right. Yeah, 2000, at least uh, I think it hit over 2,000 Canadian. Okay. Um, at the same time, we've also seen some other metals, uh, particularly zinc and lithium, uh, just kind of plummet. Right. And, uh, co so and cobalt just keeps treading water. Cobalt keeps treading water, yeah. So, um, you know, so it is interesting times. Uh, right now, the, uh, you know, we've seen financing in the industry uh, at kind of at an all-time low. Right. Uh, we had a bit of an uptick in, in financing activity uh, from 2016 into 18. And that dropped off, and uh, and uh, 2019 we reached, I think, um, what amounts to an almost all-time low wow. in terms of financing. And so, and without um, and without fresh capital, this industry cannot yeah, survive. Exactly. So, so yeah. I was on I was on a panel last week where we were talking about how we access new capital, and there was a uh, common theme that there's a disconnect between the investment community who invests in the metal, and the investment community who invests in companies. That's right. How do we bridge that disconnect? Uh, well, again, another good question. Um, you know, ultimately, I think if we are to attract, uh, you know, if we are to attract investors back into the into the gold equities themselves, uh, and away from things like gold ETFs and, and actually buying the physical metal, uh, ultimately, uh, you know, companies are just going to have to perform better. Is what it really comes down to. And what's PDAC's role in that? Well, PDAC really is trying to ensure. Uh, that you know, as an industry, we achieve the goals that we want to achieve as an industry, but doing it in uh, a responsible and sustainable manner. Right. Um, and then we also, you know, encourage government. You know, we really ask government to uh, to, to you know put in place the framework that our industry needs to, uh, to you know to, to, to perform well. So in including everything from fiscal policy. You, you've to, been a major part of the flow through and lobbying on behalf of the mining industry. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, so you know we were very successful in getting the uh, the mineral exploration tax credit renewed uh, for, uh, for for you know, for five years, right? Um, and it was the first uh, multi-year renewal of the uh, of the METC uh, since its inception in 2000. The rest of us just call it flow through. Flow through, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you know the METC, uh, uh, you know we asked for three years, and right. and the government renewed it for five. So how many? Of the 25,000 people who are coming, roughly what's the contribution to Toronto's economy? Oh, um, well, it, we, we inject upwards of around 70 million uh, into the local economy. That's fantastic. Just, just as convention alone. Well, you can't get a hotel room or a book a room at a restaurant right now. No. The streets are full. No. And so on behalf of the mining industry, I give you my personal thanks. I was born in Timmins. I put myself through law school working in mines in a zinc plant. Um, and I'm sure many people watching this have similar stories about being in the mining industry, and PDAC makes it a better place to be. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you.